does whole life insurance actually work? Meaning I see an illustration, the numbers look good, but is it actually going to deliver? Because I've heard bad things about cash value life insurance products. The answer is yes, if the policy is designed properly, if I pick one of the major mutual companies where we've seen proof of performance, not to say smaller companies don't deliver, we just go based on what we've seen actually work and what corporations and the wealthy do. So in the last video of, these seri of this series, we are going to look at a policy that is not quite five years old. We are going to look at a policy for a man with the initials LJ. He started his policy at the age of 41 years old. The company he selected was Guardian. And the funding was $120,000 per year. And like the last video, this is a nice case study because he had a plan and he stuck to the plan. And where that's nice purely from a tracking standpoint is we get to see what was projected and then what has actually occurred each year. How we track the actual values is by pulling them from the actual statement, meaning his annual statements he receives each year. The agent will have access to that as well. So we export those from the annual statement to the Excel comparison sheet so we can see everything side by side. If you'd like to see the full overview of this case study with the annual statements and everything, uh, they are in our video referred to as tracking the performance of a whole life insurance policy, where we go through this particular case study in a bit more detail. Here, we're just gonna look at the actual performance and see if it did perform. So he started his policy in 2019. The dividend interest rate with Guardian in 2019 was 5.85%. And then 2020 through 2022, which is when we're shooting this video, the dividend rate has been 5.65%. So it's come down just a tick there, 20 basis points. What's the actual impact on performance? He did not backdate in this policy. So what that means is the first year cash value should match the, the original illustration. Like everything should be identical here. Let's take a look, shall we? So as we look at the original illustration on the left, what do we see here? Base premium, there's the design of the policy, 10% minimum premium, $120,000 in, projected cash value, 105 and change. Death benefit, $2.9 million, just under three mil. Actual values on the right, 120 in, 105, 29, death benefit, $2.9 million, everything matched the illustration because he made his payment exactly when he started the policy. Everything was on time. Now, year two, what happened? Dividend rate came down a little bit. Not much, 20 basis points. That should not have much of an impact. Now, by year two, how much has been paid into the policy? $240,000. So it's a decent amount of money, but still a 20 basis point reduction should not impact things that much. Let's take a look. Actual value, pulled from the annual statement, 228, 277 versus here, 228, 612 on the projection. So that's what we would expect to be the difference. Not a major impact. That's exactly what we would expect. So as the years pass, crossover point or break even point between years three and four, what actually happened here between years three and four? By year three, he's paid in 120 each year. That's a total of 360K, he had $354,000 on his annual statement, online portal, that's what he had. Year four, makes another $120,000 payment. What do we see? Projected cash value, $485,000. Now his plan was originally to stop after five years. He might continue to make payments, it's up to him. Year five has not come and gone yet, so we'll see what happens as time passes. But if he sticks to the plan, He's already got more money than what he's paid in. It's done what he, what he has wanted it to do. And really how he views this is he's very conservative. He does very well uh, in his profession, just from an income standpoint. When it comes to saving money, very conservative. Not a huge stock market guy, very big into real estate, has a lot of money in cash, heavily leverages his uh, lines of credit to actually make investments or purchase other property. His background is in finance, he works for a bank. But the life insurance product, where that became attractive to him, was really just a safe place to store cash. While his income is high right now and has been high for a very long period of time, 
He always has a fear that, hey, things could go south just because he's seen that happen before in his industry, go back to 2008. So he does not want to be committed or on the hook for large payments. So that had a big reason why he selected this particular company, Guardian, because we look at a number of options. Guardian allowed him to commit just to the minimum premium of 12,000. It's a little bit more with the term, it was like 13,000 and change. But he could commit to the minimum and make additional funds at discretion. Now, with all of that concern, what he ended up doing was funding it still at 120K per year, but he's got that flexibility, which is nice. And that's just something we like to go over with everyone. The actual performance, what we've seen in this and all case studies is really when a policy is max funded, meaning we're going very aggressive on the PUA payments, that's where we've seen the actual performance, not illustrated, but actual performance shine. When we have a higher base premium, that's where we've seen things occur that, that, that were not originally projected on the illustration. We've got some case studies on that where the dividend rate actually went up on some years, but my actual performance was less than what was projected. It's confusing really when you look at it on the surface, you've got to dig, you've got to dig deep to see why. But my point is, if things are properly set up, if I'm with a company that has provided proof of performance, so I've got that certainty they've delivered and they're still delivering, that's where I've got that peace of mind to say, okay, we can put, we can make this recommendation to someone because the delivery is there. We don't have to worry about a consumer coming back and saying, you put me in this policy, it under delivered, I'm upset with the company, but I'm more upset with you because of something you said, like that's, that's your biggest fear. We don't want that, right? It's people's money we're dealing with. Same thing when we put our own money into the product, although I'm much more concerned about other people's money than our own, I am at least. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this case, uh, this case study and this series. If you did, please hit the like button, uh, subscribe for more. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. We can always put more case studies together. And as always, I hope this helps. Thanks so much. Hey guys, Steve Parisi here. If you enjoyed the content you just saw, please subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for future videos. If you'd like more information or to see some custom policies for yourself, feel free to call or email our offices at the contact information below.